everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Miss Air Classy Beauty Savvy and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, we will talk about many personalities perfect to para sa Valentine's Day because we also need to know our partner's money personality and even our own personality when it comes to handling money. So, di ba meron tayong love languages? Ngayon naman, we will learn more about our money personality. So, if you have a partner or if you are if you have a family pwede rin ito and even when you're single you, it's also important that you know about your money personality if you are into watching videos about money management personal finance planning budgeting life in general please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel or this video and of course don't forget to hit the notification bell na din para lagi kang updated sa mga new videos that i will be uploading i upload weekly videos so i hope you can stick around and support the channel so while we're talking about money personality since we're talking about valentine's day might as well mag prepare na rin tayo for our date samahan ninyo ako and you can also start working on this while you're preparing sa inyong days for Valentine. So, let's just put some makeup on, let's get ready and let's uh, talk about money personalities. Magchikahan lang tayo today. So, this money personality is actually from a couple, the money couple called um, Scott and Bethany Palmer. So, I have researched this few days ago and I also have watched some of their interviews about this. They even have a book. Although hindi ko pa nababasa yung book about money, about this one, money personalities. Pero nagkaroon na ako ng idea how it works and of course I've done my own research and would love to share with you then itong mga personalities, money personalities that they have shared. So first on the list, yan, while getting your makeup, let's start talking about the first um, money personality. So according to Scott and Bethany Palmer, don't worry, I'm looking at my notes here para maging accurate din yung ating information for this morning or this afternoon. So again, um, the first personality that they have shared is the saver. So that is the first money personality. So what is a saver now? So, a saver, of course, from the word itself, is someone who is good at saving money. Yeah. So, they are good at keeping the budget, right? Ganyan. So, and they prioritize saving and they get the, you know, sense of pride. They feel happy when they also get what they want for less. So, ito yung mga uh, mahilig mag-save when it comes to their um, purchases then. So, they like good deals. Yun. They find it very fulfilling when they get to find good deals when they buy an item. So, what are the strengths of a saver? So, according to the money couple, strength nila ay hindi sila impulsive buyers. So, ibig sabihin, if you are a saver, you really think about what you're going to buy first before you even start purchasing something. They also are, like what I said, dahil mahilig nga sila na makakuha ng mga deals, masipag silang maghanap ng mga deals online ng mga vouchers. Siguro ito yung mga mahilig lang bumili tuwing may sale, ganon. Eh, so that they can save more money. Also, they are organized with their money and they're trustworthy when it comes to handling money. So, if you have a partner who is a saver, sobrang maganda nito dahil they can actually really take care of the money, the family's fund. So, if you have a wife or a husband that is a saver or even a partner who is a saver, mas madali ninyo ma-organize yung money ninyo na sa buong pamilya because they keep track of it. They also are trustworthy. Hindi sila kukuha ng kahit na anong fund ng pera sa inyong funds. Let's say, for example, educational fund ng mga bata. Hindi sila basta-basta kukuha noon because they value saving more than anything. 
also, uh, they don't like debt. So, ayaw nila ng mga utang. So, kapag may credit card sila, they prefer buying it even ahead of, I mean, sorry, not buying it, but paying for it ahead of time para hindi sila magkaroon ng interest when it comes to the credit card. So, ganyan silang klase ng partner. So, these are the savers. Ano naman ang weaknesses ng mga savers? So, since they are very organized and they like, you know, uh, really, they prioritize saving more than anything else, they can be Killjoy or KJ partners then at times. Kasi nga, ang priority nila, savings, hindi, you know, luxury, traveling, eating out a lot. So, medyo KJ sila sa relationship because they always think about, oh, makakasave tayo if we will not do this, if we will not go out muna, if we will not travel muna. And, eh, dito na lumalabas yung mga terminologies na binibigay natin sa mga kaibigan natin na mahiling magtipid. Ayan, so, di, dyan yun na maririnig yung ang kuripot mo naman, ang cheap mo naman, ang selfish mo naman, kasi gusto mo lang laging isipin yung pagsasave sa sarili mo. Ganon. So, ayan yung mga normally nare-receive nilang comments from other people dahil nga they prioritize saving so much. So, the second personality naman or money personality naman is the spender. Si spender naman ay ang complete opposite ni saver. From the word itself, spender. So, they love you know, spending and purchasing items. So, they get super duper excited kapag nakakabili sila ng mga iba't ibang items. So, hindi nila masyadong consider yung amount ng item na binibili nila. What they love, actually, the, is the feeling of getting something new, of purchasing something new. So, they get a rush when they purchase new items. Ito yung mga spender. Impulsive buyers, so they just kind of, you know, buy things on a whim. So, for example, nasa checkout counter sila. Let's say, for example, sa isang grocery store, you know, yung excitement na nararamdaman nila when they purchase, let's say, a gum from a store or anything dun sa checkout counter, you know, yung chocolates na nandun, it, you know, they it makes them feel happy. Same level siya ng happiness kapag bumili sila ng something luxurious, let's say a car or a house. So remember, sa mga spender, it does not matter how much they're spending. Yung katalagang nagmamatter sa kanila is yung feeling of getting something new, of purchasing something that they want. So, what are their strengths? So number one... According to my research, spenders are great givers. Wow! So, if you have a friend who is into giving talaga or a family member naman talaga na sobrang hilig nilang mag-give ng gifts sa mga family members, they're very thoughtful and they really go the extra mile of giving you gifts when it's your birthday or when it's a holiday or a special day. So, these can be spenders, okay? Talagang strengths to ng mga spenders. And of course, another strength is they love living in the moment. So, si spender ay willing to do and create more memories with you because, again, hindi nagmamatter sa kanya yung cost nung gagawin niyo, but more on the experience and more on, you know, you know having fun when it comes to finding new adventure with you. Ganon. So, if you have a partner who is a spender, di hindi kayo dito magkaharoon ng problema. However, if you have a partner who is a spender, there is a tendency na dahil nga spender siya, hindi ma-balance out yung kanyang, you know, yung ganitong ugali na spender. So, it's a must na ang spender ay makakuha ng partner na saver. So, kailangan niyang ma-balance yung ganong attitude ng mga spender. 
so they can get become they can become impractical at times kasi they just want to buy it i'll buy it no matter how much it is dito na magkakaroon ng mga regrets sa mga purchases so meron tayong field of meron silang mga regrets sa buhay ito yung tinatawag natin na buyer's remorse and of course budget. Budget breaking talaga ang mga spenders. So, kapag meron kayong partner na spender, you'll find yourself, you know, needing to remind them often na, oh, di ba, meron tayong budget ngayon, so let's stick to the budget. Kasi when they find something that they like, and they just, you know, get excited dun sa thought of purchasing the item, it can just, you know, ruin the budget of your family or you as um, a partner. Diba? Kung nagsisave kayo together. So, ayun. Si Saver, earlier we mentioned na mahilig siyang maghanap ng mga deals. Ganon. Si, ano, si Spender, hindi. So, ganun si Spender uh, when it comes to handling money. Yun yung mga weaknesses niya. So, mahi- nahihirapan si Spender na... Um, nahihirapan si spender na i-differentiate yung needs versus wants. So, as a partner, dapat ikaw yung magturo sa kanya dito, ikaw yung magmulat sa kanya nito. Yung challenge kay spender. Ang kanyang challenge is the respect. I-respect niya yung uh, money, personality, and financial expectations ng kanilang partner. Kasi if not, talagang mag-aaway kayo when it comes to money. Lalo na kung saver ka kasi your partner is a spender. So, yun lang. Next naman natin na personality is the security seeker. Seeker. So, sa security seeker I of course, from the word itself, they are into financial, very investigative sila when it comes to financial decisions. And they're very trustworthy. They they really care about their financial security. So, ito yung mga willing mag-sacrifice ng kanilang now for their future. So, ito yung mga mahilig mag-save. And of course, to think about, um, you know, investments, insurance, ganyan. Ito yung mga security um, seekers. So they really and um they really value the future more than the present or the now. And they are organized, they're very predictable when it comes to their money habits and decision making and they are most of the time financially successful. The strengths of a security uh, seeker Again, they are willing to sacrifice nga their uh, today for their tomorrow. And they rarely get that feeling of buyer's remorse. Kasi nga, they do their own research before they even buy things. And they always consider nga yung future. So when they purchase something, they always ask themselves, makakatulong ba to sa future ko? Will this help me become uh, financially secured in the future if I'll buy this? Ano ang weaknesses ni security seeker? Number one, they are not risk takers. Dahil nga more on security sila, they don't like, you know, risks. So they want to eliminate as much as possible uh, risks that they might encounter in the future. Another thing, they can be controlling kasi nga they are afraid. Actually, they fear na pagdating ng future, hindi sila ready. So, they can be controlling when it comes to, you know, relationship. Na, um, no, let's not do that. It's not gonna be beneficial for us. So, they might, you know, decide what is, you know, good or not good for the family because they always uh, think about the security of the family or of this relationship. And then, they can be overly negative dahil nga, they think about the future, there is a tendency for them to overthink na baka pag ginawa natin to today, wala tayong kaidin tomorrow, or hindi tayo, sa tayo popolutin in the future if we will take risk, if we will go and do this kind of, you know, deal. So, ayun, medyo ano sila, negative when it comes to that. 
So if you have a, a partner or are you're in a relationship or you yourself is a security seeker, then you have to find um, someone then na meron ding magpapabalance ng ganong attitude mo so that mag-complement kayo. So I think kung sa security seeker ka at medyo ano ka, uh, hindi ka hindi ka willing to take risks ang next ang ideal mong partner will be the next one which is the risk taker so this is the next um, money personality sabi dito ang risk taker daw they love uh, finding new adventure yan and they always are looking for the next big thing so, yan si risk taker. So, si risk taker, um, for them, no idea is too out there and no risk is too big. So, they really enjoy taking the risk as long as they have the money, they will do that. And they're very excited about, you know, possibilities that they can become more, you know, financially stable in the future. So, they take risks talaga, itong mga risk takers. And they are um, all thinking. They are also thinking about the future and the possibilities that might happen in the future. So imagine, si security uh, taker or si security seeker, she's also thinking, he or she is also thinking about the future, diba? So that's great. So ganun din to si risk taker. Always thinking about the future and the possibilities that might happen in the future. So, ano ba ang mga possi- ano ba yung mga strengths ni Tony Risk Taker? So, ito si Risk Taker, very good at decision making. So, m- nag-listen siya sa gut feeling niya. So, if Risk Taker thinks na this is a good deal, he or she will really take it. So, ganun siya. Nag-listen siya sa kanyang gut feeling. Ano ba yung mga pwede kong gawin? Yun yung mga lagi na tinatanong sa sarili niya. Ano ba yung mga pwede kong gawin para kumita pa ako? Ano ba yung mga negosyo na pwede kong pasukin para mas lumaki pa yung pera ko? So, ganyan siya. Ano ba yung mga investments na pwede ko pang gawin para mas lumaki pa tong pera ko? And then, they are unafraid to make decisions on the spot. So, if they were given an opportunity for a new project or investment, if they think it's a good deal, they'll just go for it. Ganyan si um, risk taker. So, ano ang weaknesses ni risk taker? They can be blinded when it comes to the possibilities na mangyayari. Kasi they're just always looking for the opportunity and not the negative result of that um, you know, deal or of that venture or investment. They are also impatient. So, to si risk taker, gusto niya decision agad. Ito na, let's go, let's do it. So, they are impatient and um, they it can create conflict with their partners. Kasi sometimes, because they want to decide on their own, they tend to forget about their partners. So, they just decide on their own without confiding or asking their partners about that, about that thing. So, Kung money ninyo yun together, talaga mag-aaway kayo nito ni risk taker kung siya ay basta na lang nag-decide on her or his own without informing you and then malaking pera yung nawala sa inyong budget. So, that can be a big problem. So, mas maganda talaga na may open communication and then if you will have a partner na risk taker, you have to really... Uh, sit down with this partner and have an open communication. So, our last um, money personality is the flyer. Yeah. Sabi sa research ko, si flyer daw ay an unusual money personality. Hindi to very common to everyone, but it exists. Okay? So, meron pa rin talagang uh, flyer na personality. So, ano, ano si flyer? Uh, si flyer, I, he or she has no emotional connection or response to money. So, ibig sabihin, si flyer, 
hindi niya masyadong kinoconsider ang pera sa kanyang decision making. Hindi rin siya nag-iisip or hindi niya rin masyadong dinidibdib ang concern about money. So, hindi siya ganun klase ng tao, hindi siya nag-worry about his or her money. Contented na siya sa kanyang financial life. Yan si Flyer. Ano yung mga strengths ni Flyer? So, since si Flyer ay hindi na masyadong emotionally connected when it comes to his or her money, mas pinaprioritize niya ang relationships. And he or she values people more than money. Big on an talaga siya, relationship. Tapos, less motivated siya ng money compared to other average people. So, pagdating sa trabaho, hindi yun ang tinitignan niya, hindi yung kinikita niya, but more on the relationship nga na nabibuild niya. However, ang weakness nito dahil nga medyo lack of concern, hindi sila masyadong mahilig mag-isip about money, um, nahihirapan silang mag-solve or they don't devote enough time to solve financial problems. So, if you have a partner who is a flyer, medyo mahihirapan ko yung mag-collaborate or mag-isip together kung ano yung pwede niyong gawin para mapabuti yung financial health ninyo as a family or as a partner. Disorganized din sila kasi hindi nga nila tinitignan yung pera nila and hindi naman sila masyadong concerned about money. They are disorganized. So, hindi sila basta-basta hindi nila alam how much they earn, how much are they saving. They're not very detailed when it comes to that kind of, you know, planning and budgeting. So, dahil dito, it can cause overdue ng mga bills, hindi nila nababayaran, hindi nila alam probably yung due date, when are they going to pay for the bills, or number two is they can get a lot of debts. Like, they get into debts kasi nga, ang dami na nilang mga babayaran, nakalimutan nilang bayaran because they were not very particular with their, you know, finances. So, ito si Flyer. So, if you will have a partner or if you already have a partner who is a Flyer, then it's best na i-partner siya sa mga savers or yung mga mahilig mag-organize at very detailed sila when it comes to planning para mag-complement kayo sa isa't isa. Like, you get to become more, um, you know, yung mga weaknesses and strengths ninyo, they are actually complementing each other. So, yun. Diba? Sobrang halaga na alam natin ang ating money personalities, lalo na kapag may partner ka na, meron ka ng family, because dito nyo makikita eh, or maiintindihan kung bakit ganito sila mag-decide when it comes to, you know, purchases, when it comes to investment, when it comes to savings, or when it comes to buying insurances. So, sobrang importante na kilala natin yung partners natin when it comes to money uh management. So, I suggest you share this to your partner and let them figure out what kind of money personality they they have or what is their money personality so that you can talk it over and you can start understanding each other. If you want to know more about money personality, of course, you can check out the book. Just type money personality on Google and you'll probably find um, an example of that and you can buy it online if you want to so we can become more aware of what uh, should we do and the mga best things that we should do to help our partners if they have this specific personality so yon so thank you so much for watching this video we're done getting ready so i hope you enjoy this go ahead and share this with your friends family members or partners para mas maging healthy ang inyong finances at mas lalo pa kayong ma-inlove sa isa't isa because hindi na kayo mag-aaway about money. Hope you enjoy this. Send me a message down in the comment section if you have any concerns or questions. Like this video and I'll see you again next week for a whole new video. Bye!